Hi everyone, welcome back to the Music by the Month production recap series, uh, where I sort of go through the behind the scenes of the uh, song that I release during this month. And it's currently May, so it's the fifth episode, and I've just released the fifth song. And yeah, let's get straight into the project and have a look. Right, so looking at the narrative for this one here, um, I sort of wanted it to carry on uh, right after the previous one ends. And if you remember from the April song, which was the previous one, it was all about sort of building and preparing for this rocket launch. Um, it's going to happen. So this, uh, and leading off from that, this one is going to be all about the rocket launch and sort of it taking off and just sort of that process. Um, which is why it sort of starts very abruptly. Um, and it's sort of, yeah, so sort of taught it sort of have that. I wanted a very sort of big, um, excited, energetic, but sort of maybe very tense sound, just sort of all those things in one. Um, and it sort of began with sort of all these, this big orchestral sound just sort of rising up and up until it sort of um, gets to the peak and then it sort of simmers out of it. And I sort of imagine that as the rocket sort of going up in just those first moments where it's very tense and then it sort of uh, settles down for a little bit. Um, yeah, that was sort of the idea for the main bit of the start. Yeah, so sort of just going to this first main section here, um, I've sort of got this percussion going on. It's sort of very um, fast and energetic, and it's it's. I want it to feel um, not necessarily settled, but um, sort of a confident sound um, that can sort of be built off of like a foundation to sort of put all the other elements on. Um, and I also sort of wanted it to sound maybe like some engine of this rocket or something maybe um, as it's sort of powering through um, so sort of the groove goes on for a bit and there's not much progression in terms of the strings that I've arranged but that's just sort of adding to the um, just the foundation which with not much complexity that I sort of wanted to have just for this first bit um, and it sort of carries on for a little bit until I say the first notable part is just the use of these like this audio cut up and I've sort of taken it's actually the um, uh, it's taken from the communications from the moon landing or the Apollo mission launch um, of that sort of rocket launching and I've sort of cut it up a bit to sort of count down a little bit and then a few um, just voice lines that have scanned in there um, so just for that first little bit, it's, that's sort of the idea I had. Just a very settled sound that I can sort of build off of. So for the next bit here, I sort of um, just want to note that this whole piece is sort of based off of some ideas that I had for um, a song I had quite a while ago, a few years ago. And it's not quite obvious at the moment, but later on some of those original ideas will come through a little bit more. And one of those ideas was it had this sort of very fast, energetic bass solo in it. And when I wrote in the same melody as in the original one, um, it didn't really work with this, so I sort of opted for something a little bit more simple and a little bit more uh, repetitive that could sort of just sit within the groove. And I'll just play that a little bit now. Um, yeah, it sort of adds to the uh, groove a little bit, but with not being too uh, overpowering. <laughs> So it's a lot uh, more of a simple melody than the original one, but I think it works quite well with sort of just the idea of just this rocket ship sort of just um, churning along just through the sky, sort of just still very tense and energetic at this point. Um, but it's a little bit more settled than right at the start when it's launching. Um, and I sort of, uh, going through this, I sort of imagined it getting higher and higher. Um, and as uh, as it did that through the music, I sort of added more layers to this melody. Uh, so I added a high strings melody, and then I sort of added more harmonies onto it later on. Um, and then right before leading to the next section, so I'll just play that a little bit now. <laughs> Uh, there's the sort of transition and then also just the melody that carries on into the next section yeah this next section is sort of 
uh, a lot less tense and I sort of wanted this to be the point in the launch where um, just the sort of main first initial part is all gone and uh, sort of the pilot I guess can sort of relax a little bit but it's still still sort of moving forward so I got rid of the um, sort of the strings in the bass um, and I sort of have these more mellow strings that came in just with these big chords and this is sort of where the ideas of that original piece I had a few years ago come in and sort of have that progression uh, so I'll just play it a bit as well oh, I also there's a little bit more of the sample as well So yeah, it's a very sort of triumphant sound in chord progression and it sort of rises up, but then so that little chromatic bit at the end, um, it sort of just brings it back down so it's not a full, uh, full climb, it's still, we're still not quite there yet, but we're still sort of getting there. And it sort of loops a little bit and then I sort of have this uh, glockenspiel melody, um, which is, I use sort of as a motif to come back later for the final section, but that sort of just loops a few more times until... Um, until it sort of gets to the next section. And this whole idea was just sort of, uh, sort of to contrast the main groove a little bit and just sort of have a slower, more uh, calmer pace right before the final section. Um, and yeah, so the transition for the final section, it sort of cuts out and it's sort of very quiet and then it sort of very quickly builds up again. And I'll just play that quickly just to hear. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the melody's heard and sort of rises up right before the final section. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look at this. Uh, the final section here has sort of all the ideas sort of coming together. It has uh, the all the orchestral elements and it sort of has the main big melody as well, as well with a, a more energetic drum groove as well. Um, and this is sort of just the um, final bit of the launch as it's everything's sort of gone well and it's just all set just to keep going um, and yeah so it sort of just sort of loops through a few times it's quite a repetitive song but also the idea is um, quite uh, repetitive as well of just sort of sitting in this rocket even though it's a very tense and exciting thing it's it is a repetitive um, sort of idea uh, so there, I also added in another synth that comes in as well, but I'll just play this first bit. Um, sort of hear a bit there. But uh, yeah, sort of the same chords as before, but it's all double time. Everything's picked up and it's sort of just the big uh, climatic fish, uh, finish. Uh, another addition I had was this, this really electronic synth sound, which... Um, sort of doesn't seem to fit in at first with all sort of the uh, acoustic orchestral sounds uh, but I sort of wanted to add that in just to sort of go back and sort of acknowledge the previous song which was a very electronic uh, based arrangement uh, and it sort of has this melody that sort of sweeps around um, the groove and I'll just play it a little bit here because it's a bit more uh, notable <laughs> So it sort of just sweeps around and it's very um it's very bright and it's very just a confident sound in there uh, and it sort of loops keeps going until it sort of builds up right for the big finish and everything sort of just drags out almost like um you're sort of just watching it get smaller and smaller in the sky that's sort of the idea i had for it and it's uh yeah so I think it's quite a simple idea and it's quite a simple arrangement, um, but I think I got enough ideas in there to sort of make it exciting enough. And yeah, I think uh, I think it leads on well to the next song and also fits in with the previous narrative. Um, and yeah, I sort of have a few ideas on how I can lead it into the next one, but yeah, we'll just have to wait until June to find out for that. And uh, yeah, so. 
yes, we'll be back next month.